Don't ever assume a man is being helpful out of the kindness of his heart. He wants something. Okay? He wants something. Not always, but most of these men are just predators. They're on the predator spectrum, right? And so some of them, um, you may think, wow, he is so helpful, right? And I don't mean in the fireman way, search and rescue way. That's like next level. I have so many toys now, y'all, and I plan to play with them. Y'all know I talk a lot about the like helpful uh, prick, right? Well, pucker, right? Who's just so helpful. Everybody who's just a community man, right? Now that is a little bit different, but it's in the same category. Those are the men who just want everyone in the community to think that they're just like so amazing. And then as soon as the door closes to the, their front door closes, they're a menace. They're a menace to their family. They're, uh, you know, they have the whole hero complex, right? That's different. I want to talk about the men who are helpful to get to your friends. Because they want to fork your friends. Uh, I have an example. We're going to go over it in the what the hell mail or ask mail or whatever you call this uh, a column that's not a column that's a response to stuff. Before I go into it though, um, I do expect my husband or any of my friends' husbands to help out their friends, right? Be helpful in the community. Help their family and my family, right? That's a good thing. As long as they have boundaries and they're not like, you know, enmeshed with mommy or something. And since there are a lot of single women in my life because they have chosen to center themselves instead of settle for trash, right? Um, I want them to know that they can count on us and especially Anthony if there's something that like needs a muscle for, right? And I'm here to support them and they support me. Here's the thing about husbands who help out their wives' friends. First of all, if they're not helping you out, their actual partner, if they would not do all of that for you, if they, if you are not their number one person that they're trying to make the life easier of and the, and pouring into and, you know, just showing care for, if, if, if you're not the number one person who receives all that, uh, then he's like, uh, first of all, like, wh why, are, why are you with him? Um, I don't know how else to say it, sorry. But also, if he is helping uh, your friends and also not helping you, that man's gonna cheat on you. And the reason why I'm thinking of this, this is one of my mutuals, I'm gonna, I hope I remember to tag her. I love her. She talks about life in Italy. And she has some stories, and not just in life in Italy. She talks about a lot of amazing things. But she has friends um, from before living in Italy where like one of, the, one of her friends literally got left by a man who was just so helpful to all her friends. And then he basically was just look, he's preying on all of these women, right? And a lot of men do this. They don't have friends. They don't have a community. They don't have access to women. So a lot of men use women to get access to their friends. And then they exploit the labor, the love, the care, and then actually prey on them sometimes too and cheat with those women. So, um, I don't remember this column and how, where it goes. I just saw the headline and I skimmed through it and I was like, yeah, okay, this seems cool. So uh, I don't actually remember what happens in it, so we'll get there. But the first thing I see when a man is cheating on you, like leaves you for your friend, this is the one thing to look out for. If that man is just so eager to help her with every little thing and he does not have that same energy but times 10 for you, that man's gonna cheat on you with her right? I actually, I, I love that I am friends with um, f men who have partners and that those partners trust me to be alone with their uh, husbands or boyfriends or whatever. And I actually love it when Anthony spends time with some of my friends because he has a friendship with them and there's no jealousy and there's no insecurity between them. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking, you know what I'm talking about, right? Don't assume these men are just these just benevolent, kind, they just want to be useful and they're helping out, but it's always women, <laughs> right? Like if they don't help their male friends out that much, 
if they don't help their mother out that much, if they don't put that energy towards you, honey, he doesn't like you and he's probably gonna cheat on you with one of your friends. And honestly, I think that is probably like, like there's betrayal already from cheating, but for someone to betray she, with your friend, that, like that twofer, oh, that would be so devastating. So I'm thinking that's what happened here. We'll see. So I, this came up on my feed. It's uh, mumsnet.com. So this is like British. And A-I-B-U. I looked it up. I forget. Am I being unreasonable? It's something like that, right? There's like a whole different language. In fact, here I found this key, okay? Really weird. Dar like a uh, darling husband. Dar like what? Okay. It's definitely not like Reddit. But in case you need to go back and figure out what the hell we're talking about, this is our reference point. Darling child, darling son, darling daughter, darling husband, darling. <laughs> but I skimmed over this because I was like, ooh, I think this is what I've been wanting to talk about. But I don't really, I didn't read much. So I'm going to discover with y'all. Am I being unreasonable to be upset? Uh, a friend has fallen for my husband. Yes. We don't actually need to go farther, but okay. Uh, by the way, don't have friends enter men. Uh, if you have pick me friends, they are going to fork you over in so many ways like this. But anyway, recently separated after 20 year relationship, most of those married to DC. Darling children. Ugh, that's so weird. Why? Ugh. Anyway, sorry. So two 20 year relationship, mostly married two children. Since deciding to split in mid January, we were lit. We were living under the same roof still with our children and pondering what to do. There was still a lot of love for each other, respect, and confusingly, we did still have schmucks a few times, most recently a few weeks ago. I mean, I get it. Been together a long time, but I don't understand yet why you're divorced. But if you decide to divorce this man, stop forking him. <laughs> like, so don't do it. Don't get peckeratized. Although it's really clipmatized because it's not about this. Like this doesn't even need to be there. <laughs> uh, but like we, we usually think that it's this. It's not this usually. Uh, I speak from experience here. I can never see clearly on things. If I am forking somebody that I have complicated feelings with. Mm, just saying. You won't get clarity till you stop. Okay. Anyway. Children were unaware of, uh, of the breakup until a few weeks ago. Eventually, I started to move out earlier this month. And it's really worded weird. And it was agreed I would have our children stay with me every other week from the end of May. I don't know how old these kids are. Why did you say darling children? They could be like four or they could be 40. Well, not 40, but why are you moving out? Why isn't he moving out? What? Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Giving them time to settle in. At the moment, I'm between two homes and also caring for a darling husband as he is incapacitated at the moment due to an injury done when playing sports with the woman I'm about to mention. Ah! First of all, you're divorced or you're in. You uh, should not be taking care of him. Even if he wasn't with this person, this woman who he's going to end up hooking up with. Also, what sport? You know what I say about these reckless men doing reckless sports without any care in the world over what, how that might impact them. And it's always women who are going to clean up this mess. But uh, you, 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 you're, you do not have to take care of him because guess what? If the tables were reversed, he would not be taking care of you. He's busy. He's got, he's got two hobbies now, at least. Wow, that was quick. Uh, why did you divorce? I mean, he's moving on really fast. Whose idea was it? God, I have so many questions. Ugh. Darling husband started meeting up with a female friend for walks earlier, early January onward. Okay, I'm going back to the beginning. Since deciding to split in mid j Look at that timing. They started going on walks in early January and then y'all decided to split up in mid-January. Hmm. Those definitely are not related. 
They started porking her early January. Y'all are still staying under the roof, same roof, and he's porking you. They had previously previously done stuff together too. Uh, shocker. This has been going on since before January, but it's rapidly progressed to very frequently. Not a close friend of mine by any means, but somebody who we were both who we both we have both known for a few years. Parents at the same school as our uh, darling children's. I can't take this seriously. And I found out today that she has indicated she wants a romantic relationship with D.H. She already has one. <laughs> what do you mean she wants one? She has one. She wants you to know she's doing this. But they were doing this for a while, okay? You will not convince me otherwise. And has been in my house when I haven't been there. <laughs> she's forking him in your bed. That he's still forking you in. And you're taking care of him. Because it's a little injury. Why isn't she taking care of him? Uh, this is his new hospice wife. You are a den. Okay, so it's clear to me at this point that this was not about that. Seems like she was, like, this woman wasn't even that close with this. With the, Oh, look who's away. Oh my God, look at the way you're looking. Look at how he's looking at me. Those side eyes, he's so tired. Uh, <laughs> blank. <laughs> oh, I can see a baby. Um, so that did not happen here, but I, I will try to find an example of this because I really want to talk about this. This is big, this is big. But either way, um, it's not that you can't trust your husband with other women and friends of yours. I, that is not my message here at all at all it's what how do they treat you and just just keep an eye on it okay uh because uh, like why is he going on walks with this lady <laughs> like why is he spending time with her um if he's not like does he is he going on walks with you you know what i mean anyway i found all of this extremely distressing uh-huh uh can we talk betrayal trauma uh, the idea of somebody else in my beloved home and your bed. Uh, the idea a woman that knows me would so keenly make a move when we are at... I'm going to stop you right there. Maybe she made a move. But my guess is that he made the move. Don't you do this. Don't do this. I, maybe she made a move. But women, we are so quick to be like... She's moving in on my man who, who, as if it just happened. It just happened to him. She just came out of nowhere and just landed in his bed. Aw, oh, it's so hard for him to say no. Like, uh, lady, he's been cheating on you for a while. It's so... God. We hold women to standards higher than men. And we suffer from that. Seriously, I just, I just, I just need to make this point. This is how boys will be boys, men are stupid, all those things. This is why we got to get rid of that. Because this is why we excuse this behavior. She is more mad at this lady than she is at her husband. And she, like uh, you see it I, I, every time, they, they all these stories that I do, this is a common thing. This really sucks that women will hold each other accountable for men's actions. Stop doing this. This is why we have to stop. We have to stop they, them convincing us that they're stupid, that boys will be boys, that they're like animals. They behave like them, but they're not. And the more that we believe that men are inferior to us and they're just, you know, incapable of anything, like that keeps the standard low, right? That's how these guys get away. Like, they, like they, they get away with being so awful because we don't expect much. I want you to expect so much from men. These men are lying. These men are like, well, men are just like that. They just like that because they don't want to change. They don't want to do the work. And not only does that mean that we our, our bar is so low for them, like, well, you know, he's such a good dad because he doesn't beat our kid. Or he like drives them to school and that's it, right? Like all of that. But on top of that, we blame women for men's behavior. And we need to stop. That doesn't mean that this friend, right? Maybe this friend is a pick me who just literally was like ready to pounce. 
but do not absolve this man of he was the married one right he can say no thank you the fact that he just went right into another relationship tells me that he was cheating to begin with doesn't mean that she's innocent but he's married not her so stop it this is this holds all of us back it's not good for us and it's not good for men it just allows all this crap to keep going on. It is how women are surviving patriarchy, but it's actually not good for any of us. I'm not surprised by men's terrible behavior. I don't necessarily expect most men to be any better. I just don't mess with them at all. I don't want anything to do with you. I want someone who wants to grow and learn, not whatever this is. So stop blaming women for men hurting you. You have more in common with that woman than you do with him. Maybe y'all should be friends because then you realize you're both getting screwed. <sighs> anyway, making a move uh, when we are in the early stages of our separation. I haven't moved out fully and have been at my family house most days. <laughs> we had camps a week ago. Another reason why you need to stop uh, brown chicken brown cowing with men that you are broken up with divorcing that you're trying to separate from besides like getting pucker you gotta get an std how much you want to bet this man is not using protection with this woman so uh i hope she doesn't have an sti or whatever because you got one now too in fact he was messing with her before y'all even got divorced so that's what uh, <laughs> like i've said before uh need i remind you of this Monogamous couples at the same risk for STIs as people in open relationships. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't even trust your husband to not give you an STI. Because more men are cheating than you realize. And because they're so reckless and selfish and entitled, they're not even going to put a sock on it when they do. So uh, this is on you. Stop blaming the other woman and stop forking this man. For context, the family home will remain mine after the finances are sorted out, but my darling husband, <laughs> your, your trash husband, let's call him TH, was, oh look at you rolled over, uh, was really keen to stay in the short term. <laughs> after all this, look at this. Darling husband, oh sorry, trash husband was really keen to stay in the short term for stability for himself. Yeah, of course. Honey, he's not moving out. Don't do this. Don't move out. That man is never moving out. Oh my God. He's never moving out, y'all. He probably is faking this injury so he can stay there and um, boink his new uh, girlfriend uh, in her bed. <laughs> this whole like short-term thing, don't fall for this crap. In fact, uh, I follow so many Facebook pages here in France and there's so many terrible stories, especially immigrant women, right? I'm going to marry a French man. I'm going to follow him back to his country and then they're hostages, right? And one of the things every single time they're in the comments being like, what do I do? Uh, he doesn't want to be married to me anymore. And they, everyone's like, do not leave that house. Every single time they're like, do not leave that house. You may not be able to return because this stuff, like do not leave the house y'all. And uh, not only don't leave the house, don't let him stay in the house without you, especially if he has a new girlfriend. And also take care of him. God, I'm so mad at this lady, but I understand my little codependent heart understands. I'm not mad at you. Okay, I'm not mad at her. I'm mad for her. Because she did not even see that this was so bad. Just like I didn't see, I didn't know. Oh my God, y'all see my, my parts coming out here, you know? See the little goody two shoes is like, yay, I just want everyone to like me. This is like codependent people pleasing Melanie. And this is the Judge Judy who's like, you stupid bitch. <laughs> it's a new character, y'all. Puppets, puppets, puppets. Best thing I've ever got. Look at this line. Right after saying he's uh, cheating with this woman, She's let him stay there for, you know, stability for himself. I'm very keen for him to be able to move on and find happiness. Why? Don't be keen. Be angry. So many, we are taught to not be in touch with anger. And this is what we get. 
I mean, I, I want to take the upper road, up the, the high road and just be, have hope, you know, and no fear. You should be mad. Resentful, no. Resentful will ru resentment will ruin your life. But angry, piss. A lot of times anger, if it's rooted in the truth, is a sense of justice. It can also be rooted in entitlement if you're not unpacking this stuff. Right? I think all my upset is aimed at the woman that's made the move on him. When I feel there's so much unfinished, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You got that right. It is aimed at her. Like, like, lady, you are mad at her. But, uh, you, I would be upset too, cause she's your friend. Like that, that absolutely is justified. But you gotta aim this at the dude. I know it's hard to do that because he's the father of your children. You gave him 20 years. You gave him your body. You almost died twice birthing his children. And all that labor, all that labor, right? All that for what? For him to cheat on you with your little friend? I, I swear, I, my mom always says my little friend. I, and it, I can't not say my little friend. <laughs> but you need to take all that anger at her, or at least 75% mm, of it, and put it at him. Because maybe she's like you. Maybe she easily falls for this crap, right? Um, you know, unless she literally went after him, which again, that doesn't absolve him of anything. Uh, a lot of women end up being the person, the affair partner, because they themselves have terrible boundaries and excuse red flags and have all this stuff. And then we end up getting hurt and we hurt other women by letting men use us. Anyway, uh, so much unfinished business i.e. my home, me heavily supporting him. Stop doing that today. Stop it, darling wife, or whatever y'all call it, uh, whilst he's unable to cope. Ugh. What? Unable to cope with stuff. Uh, he's coping fine. <laughs> he is already moved on, honey. Stop. This is what we do. We, God, we get so, so worried about them. Oh, he can't cope. He's having a hard time with the divorce that he probably instigated because he was having an affair. Oh, he's injured. Ah, oh, you know what men do? Here's another little thing. Whenever they know they're getting in trouble for something, they get injured. Also, I mean, they also fake injuries all the time. If you're sick, they get sicker. Oh, God. Or any, but I'm telling you, my dad did this. My dad did this. When he got busted, cheating. Oh, all of a sudden he's got to go into the mental institution. Oh, you can't be mad at someone that you feel sorry for. You can't be mad at someone who's sick. You I mean, you can be, but it's harder. I'm sick. I'm injured. I'm a little baby bird. Oh, and then we're like, oh, and we forget. This man is like all of them is a hobo. He's a hobo. He's staying at her house. Kick him out. Kick him out. Make him do all this. Go stay with your little running buddy or whatever. All right, here we go. <sighs> and it feels properly awkward that she thought it was okay to be spending all that time with him when allegedly she didn't even know about our split as we only told people outside of event. Like, honey, he, can you not see that they've been having an affair for a long time? Like, I don't... Am I wrong? Am I being unreasonable to be finding this upsetting? Okay, I, see how when we, we minimize feelings that we're told that we're not allowed to have, we're not allowed to be angry, we're not allowed to be mad. Those are reserved for men, or those are used to uh, for racism. But in general, women are not supposed to be angry about anything. Not you griping me, not you trying to cut off my head, not you st having a whole ass family uh, that you lied about. We're not supposed to anger about any of that. We take the moral high ground, right? We have endless empathy and compassion, right? Because we're the nurturing, mm, right? And, and men, they can't help themselves. Boys will be boys. And uh, women are morally superior and just better people. That's why I went, like, you see how this doesn't help us? This does not help our case. Lots of things can be true at once. Most men can be, all men are on the hobo, entitlement, uh, king baby, uh, spectrum. 
all of them benefit from the violence of men, even if they themselves haven't been violent. All la 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 la, right? Like they're all complicit in this. And I expect better from all of them. I do not excuse any of it as them just, uh, they just don't understand. They're just so stupid. They're just little boys going out there doing the little boy things in these enormous terrifying bodies. Uh, no, thank you. I can assume all of them are dangerous. And at the same time, know that they are capable of so much more and expecting nothing less than that from the ones that I allow in my life. So yeah, a lot of women don't want to have anything to do with men and we have every right to do that. That's how we are staying alive. But you will never convince me that it is because we are superior and we are better than them. Because A, there's no hope in that. Like, let's just get rid of all of them. I'm not, I don't really want to do that. B, it makes them not accountable for anything they do. And C, that also assumes that women um, are all doing great and we're all healthy and anybody who has been harmed by like deeply by women especially women who never dealt with their trauma would be like well i don't know like i don't necessarily want to be on an island with all women either if a lot of them are like like my best friend or my mom or my my ex-girlfriend right like this whole like binary of, like women are good and men are bad that doesn't serve any of us uh men are acting terribly awful i don't trust any of them until proven otherwise just because i look at facts and i observe evidence and i know there's a pattern but that is because of the system that indoctrinated them into this and i have met plenty of men who were fighting against all this indoctrinated this indoctrination the same way i am right and those men i do feel safe with i wouldn't be married if i didn't and I always have a backup plan and my own money just in case. Stop blaming women for everything men do to you. They may have a role in it, but he is no less guilty than her, especially if he was the married one. We're all a little good and a little bad and a little of everything in between. But I don't want to live in a world where we, I, I don't want to live in a world where we expect nothing from men and everything from women and blame women for everything that men are refusing to do. They can do it. They're just refusing to. And those men can die alone. Toot toot. Et voila.